Today, I'll be unboxing a $50 comic book mystery box from Wink Inc. Stick around. DJ Lynx is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx. Back in the building, back DJ in effect, Lynx. and back with another video. And today, I'll be unboxing a $50 comic book mystery box from my guy, my pal, good friend, Mr. Alex Wink Inc. Michael. First of all, I want to congratulate Wink Inc. on returning to YouTube. The comic book community or the ecosystem wasn't the same without you, sir. So thank you for your return. So what we have here is a $50 comic book mystery box that I picked up from Wink Inc.'s Whatnot Sale. Usually what happens, I'll go into someone's what not sale if their show is like set up and I'll go into the buy it nows and I'll try to just grab stuff even before the shows even start. He had packed his what not sale with a bunch of mystery boxes and I was just like boom let me grab one of the $50 ones. At the time there was only $40 and $50 so I grabbed the $50 one but during the sale when it was actually happening he had put up a $400 mystery box and I was just like ah, I wanted to get it but unfortunately I did it. But we got the $50 box and I'm gonna open it and we're gonna do like we normally do. Let's go. And we're back. Everything is out of the box. What I forgot to mention, all of his boxes, whether it was a $40 price point, $50 price point, all the way up until the $400 price point, you were guaranteed at least one slab, one slab out of a $50 box. I know, right? It's crazy. At least seven raws and one signed comic book. It's Wink Inc. So you know the value is going to be there and it's going to be insane. And then we got some little throw-ins. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's a bunch of like little hero clicks. So we got a Nick Fury one, a The Blob one, Iron Man and his uh, Centurion armor and then a deathstroke one so that's pretty cool we're gonna just start it off with the books i'll show it to you flip them around you'll see the value down in the corner and then after everything is said and done you see the total value of this 50 dollar comic book mystery box from my guy mr alex winking michaels let's get right into it first book up yo that looks like some some archie this is Betty and Me number 101. That's pretty dope. I don't collect Archie comics, so this will go right back into the community. 40 cent or two, and it's clean. They got some writing there, but other than that, it's pretty clean. Wow, let's keep them pushing. Next book up. Oh, that's a beautiful cover. That cover really pops with the lightning. Was that Storm? Yeah, it's Storm. Aaron Cooter. I have no idea what this is. It might be Giant Size X-Men Storm, but I have no idea. That is a beautiful, beautiful cover. Virgin right there. Next book up. Nice. We got Black Widow. This is one of the series that I skipped out on uh, and I wish I hadn't. There are a few uh, Marvel like five issue series that came out when I got back into comic books. Black Widow was one of them that I skipped out on. Well, this is not a five issue series because this is clearly Black Widow number 15. When I was talking about like Doom the series, Taskmaster the series, and for some reason I thought Black Widow was a five issue series. Gorgeous Peach Momoko cover. I've really, you know, gotten into like Peach Momoko covers and stuff like that. I don't collect them, only a few of them here and there, but um, yeah, no, that's pretty dope. Peach Momoko. Next book up. And everything is in, whoa! I was going to say, everything is in the Mylar magic because you know Wink Inc. is Mylar out of his mind. Wow, Marvel Age number 95, a dollar. Gorgeous Captain America cover, and this is absolutely stunning. This is a keeper for show. Next book up. Cable and Deadpool. Nice. Nice. Oh my God, I'm recording this on the Monday after the Super Bowl, and I think I watched the new Deadpool and Wolverine trailer at least 25 times. Cable and Deadpool number seven. This is dope. I don't have this in the collection. That's pretty cool. Next book up. Holy smokes. Yo, a Looney Tunes Dell. Wow, still 10 cents? Wow, I'm uh, wow decent condition i mean not even there's some staining and stuff on it but still a looney tunes dell 10 cents there's some writing there in the corner this is a banger 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 10 cents was that the 60s that's fantastic next we go this is one of the signed ones this has a certificate i can't make out the signature wow 
Boom. Deathlock number one. Mike Perkins, number 66 of 74. So on the back, it says Certificate of Authenticity, Dynamic Forces Inc. has issued this certificate to authenticate this copy of Deathlock number one as one of a specially limited series of 74 copies signed in silver by Mike Perkins. And then it says number 66. So 66 of 74. That's pretty cool. Let's move on. And this is another signed one. Oh, we got a lenticular. So it's like half XCON, half Iron Man. Uh, this one is signed by Rodney Barnes at San Diego Comic Con, and he signed this July 23rd, 2022. So this is all oh, Falcon. I thought it said XCON. Falcon with a homage to the Invincible Iron Man number 71 lenticular signed by Rodney Barnes. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we have the Slabby Patty. Oh, shit. I didn't even let me just cover this because I don't want to see it. I didn't even see this stuff. So we got, of course, some stickers. And it's funny because I was wondering. I was like, man, Wink always puts in the, the stickers in his boxes. The Boardroom Certified, which is a banger. My lot out of his mind, of course. Uh, Loki sticker and spider-man and then what is this a wild storm gallery card that's pretty cool i think it's like one trading card in here i'll open that off camera i don't want you to see me struggle with a single pack of cards because my hands be like oh and i just damage shit so let's move on to the slab here we go i was gonna cover the grade but eh, it doesn't even matter wow so we got carnage reigns omega number one the sequera variant cover CGC 9.8 white pages. That's a banger cover. Carnage Reigns number one from 2023. That is pretty, pretty cool. I cannot complain about that. I'll probably use this as a giveaway item or something like that on one of my streams on In The Mix, Fridays at 9 p.m., something like that. I won't keep this, but it is nice. It is nice. I would love for this to go to a home where someone can appreciate it, but yo, I'm not mad at this at all. Boom. All right, so let's, let's take a look at it. The slab. Slab is pretty dope. Not going to keep it. It's going to go for a giveaway or something like that, so stay tuned but that's a dope slab love the sign books and sign books aren't necessarily my thing but that's pretty cool this death log number one signed by mike perkins is fabulous for me the hit of this box is this looney tunes book i was not expecting that i don't collect this stuff but for some reason i saw this and my my heart skipped the beat this is fire man cable and deadpool is pretty cool this is dope this is pc all day i dig the black widow cover i'm digging this storm cover pretty unique and then the betty and me not for me but it's still pretty dope overall as always, Wink Inc. knocks it out the park when it comes to mystery boxes. He is kind of like the standard bearer. And when you think of mystery boxes, you just think of his name. So I appreciate him for putting this together. Fantastic box at $50. But of course, we have to see the total value. So what's the total value of this box? And that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. As always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, consider joining the Link Squad, and as always, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.